Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. This is me carrying out some servicing on an ideal Mexico HE. So this is a look inside the unit. That's the flu test point there on the left. And then um, over here, you just have the um, temperature control and reset button and power on off. You've got the, um, you have the fan here on the left and the um, burner beneath. Down here, you've got the, at the back of the boiler, you've got the condensate trap. So always make sure that the flue has been adequately supported and try and check the entire run. All right, and then here you've got your live, your neutral, your earth and your link, but there's also a switch live there. Okay, this is a look at the control panel. Always remember to check before you do any servicing what the control panel is saying if there's any warning lights on up here you've got some got some readings of how much how much uh, how long the boilers have been running so that's a good um, indication of um, which boilers have been on the prvs are here and i like to always hold the flu or the gas pipe even though it's clipped i like to just see if there's any play any movement Got some heating pumps wrapped up in there, lagging, some standard Grumpus pumps. Got some temperature gauges that are working here. And then there's also some old gauges um, in situ. These gauges, I, I reckon they're about 40 years old. And we've got a, an inch and a half strainer. Good for these to be cleaned out. We've got a gas solenoid valve here. And then here we have a small gas meter. And always remember to check that the meters are ventilated. Look for your line diagram on the left. There's one there. And then also we have um, our earth bond in there. Look for your meter tape. Um, on the handle, ensure that it falls to the off position. This one is falling to the off position and the handle is in place. Remember to look for tape um, that your, your pipe hook isn't corroded and that it's sleeved going in, the meter supported and so on. This is a um, U16 meter. The carbon monoxide alarm up here, just checking that it's in date. You can see this one says replace sensor by March 2019 and replace unit by March 2024. Not sure if you guys wear your CO alarm belts in the plant room, it's good too. This looks like a Spirotech filter. Our safety mat is in place here. This is the flu, the room sealed flu discharge, and then here you have the Ventilation, low and then high. A gas valve emergency stop button. Automatic air vent. It's lovely when they have the isolation valves. Got some sensors here. More sensors. Okay, this, this freeway valve actuator made in Sweden. Not sure of the name of it, but... Um, Got a freeway valve here and we've got our PN number there. And then this is me here carrying out my tightness test on the same meter. This Ideal Mexico has um, labels identifying gas flow and return. This is me doing my flue gas analysis on this Ideal Mexico. Here's the gas valve close up. On the left here, you have the test point for the working pressure. So here are my probes, just giving them a, my, my ignition and detection probes, just giving them a cleanup and checking my spark distance. And then I had the burner out and I'm just um, having an inspection of the inside. This is a look inside the chamber. As you can see, it's quite a clean unit. 
with this particular unit there was a problem with um, one or two of the appliances not lighting and it was because um, it was lighting but there was no rectification so found that the lead was basically making contact with the case and um, not sending back a good reading that there was a, um, a good flame signal so I um, had to make some adjustments and then the boiler was fine afterwards one of the units I was working on I found that the PCB was actually the problem for it not lighting but after swapping a PCB over I realized that the PCB was actually stopping the boiler from from lighting even though there was a good good flame flame signal coming back from the unit after it lit but the PCB was failing to um, continue the ignition process so after changing the PCB the unit was fine